All right, so this month's balance program consists of two exercises. The first one is called a marching with a hip circle. And so the, what we're doing here, we're marching in place. So I'm gonna bring my knee up nice and slow. And then I'm gonna make a hip circle, which means I'm basically just bringing my leg out to the side. I'm gonna then switch sides, bring my knee up nice and slow, and then take it out to the side. By adding that movement out to the side of that circle, what's happening is, one, it's great for the hips to really help open up the hips, but two, it kind of change, it shifts your weight so that it forces you to balance, uh, it forces you to have to balance a little bit better than if you were just bringing your knee straight up. So again, think about bringing your knee up nice and easy, and then taking the leg out to the side. We're gonna alternate sides and do 10 on each side. If you need to make that easier, then just grab onto like, I could do this up against the wall, just uh, hanging onto a wall or a door or the back of a chair, something like that. The second exercise I'm gonna do is a toe touch. Now there's a couple progressions. The simplest version of this would be taking my left hand and I'm gonna reach down towards my right toe and I'm gonna stop just below the knee. So kind of like step one, would be going just below the knee. So I'm aiming like for the toe, but I'm, I'm stopping short and limiting my range of motion. Uh, to go down a little bit further, I would go about halfway down my shin, and then all the way would be going to the toe. So halfway down the shin, or to progress it a step further, all the way down to the toe. So on this one, I'm gonna do 20 repetitions all on one side, and then I'll switch and do 20 repetitions all on the other. So a couple things to make this easier, hang on to a wall, or just don't bend down quite as far. Again, if you wanna progress it, don't hang on to a wall or reach down to the shin or reach down all the way to the toe. One other thing to think about on this is we wanna hinge at the hips. So as I'm bending forward, I want my hips to drop back. I'll actually feel a little bit of a better stretch through the hamstrings through this as well. It's just kinda of like a side added benefit. So again, two exercises, marching with the hip circle, 10 per side back and forth, and then the toe touch reaching across the body, uh, 20 on one side and then 20 on the other. Give it a shot, let us know what you think.